guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a square that contains a quarter circle and a semicircle, each with an area of pi. And it's asking for the area of the entire square. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Let's label the radius of the blue quarter circle r sub one. And let's construct the diagonal of the square. And from this intersection point, let's draw this segment perpendicular to this side. And this will also be the radius of this semicircle. Let's call it r sub two. And now we can write some equations with our two radii. The area of a quarter circle is pi radius squared divided by four. And that'll be equal to this area of pi. I don't really like fractions, so let's get rid of this denominator. We can multiply both sides of the equation by four. These fours are gonna cancel each other out. So on the left-hand side, we'll have pi r sub one squared. And on the right-hand side, we'll have four pi. Next, we can divide both sides by pi. And that'll give us r sub one squared equals four. Four, and then from here, we can square root both sides. On the left-hand side, the r sub one is a positive distance, so the square root and the square root will cancel each other out, leaving us with r sub one. And on the right-hand side, the square root of four is two. So the radius of our blue quarter circle is equal to two. And now we can do the same thing for the radius of our semicircle. The area of a semicircle is pi radius squared divided by two, and that's also equal to pi. And then from here, we can do basically the same work that we just did. This will give us r sub two is equal to square root of two. So let's make the radius of the semicircle square root of two. And now we're done with all this. Let's construct this segment perpendicular here and here. This will also be a radius equal to square root of two. And now right here, we have another square with all the sides square root of to. Let's construct the diagonal of this square and let's figure out its length. In every square, the diagonal is equal to square root of two times the side length. So for this square, the side length is square root of two. So the diagonal will be equal to square root of two times square root of two, which is equal to square root of four, and that's equal to two. Let's highlight the diagonal of the little square and let's extend it to finish the diagonal of the big square. This piece of the diagonal is the radius of our quarter circle, so it will also be equal to two. And now we can copy down our larger square and identify the diagonal as two plus two, which is equal to four. And now that we know the diagonal of this square, we can figure out the side lengths of the square. To get the side lengths of a square, you take the diagonal and divide by square root of two. And then we can clean this up a little bit. Let's rationalize this by multiplying top and bottom by square root of two. In the denominator, the square root of two times square root of two is square root of four. And the square root of four is equal to two. And four divided by two is two, which will leave us with a side length of two root two. And now we can figure out the area of the square. The area of a square is the side length squared. So the area of this square will be two root two quantity squared. From here, each of these can have their own square. It'll be two squared, square root of two squared. Two squared is equal to four, and this square root and this square will cancel each other out. So we're left with four times two, which is equal to eight. This is the answer to our question. Let's give it a label of square units and put a box around it. In this given diagram, the square has an area of eight square units. How exciting. If you wanna try more of these geometry puzzles, I have a link to this page in the description. It's 100% free, let me know what you think. How exciting.